Students are studying electrical impulses, synapses, and neurons. And yes, they are stepping to much higher learning on the backs of cockroaches. 11 advanced biology students are about to break new ground. With American cockroaches, they will transform into cyborgs. First, they stun them in a beaker of ice water. Next, they snip off a leg. And the pins just serve as electrodes for the, uh, for the electrical current. It's like a conductor for it. They have about five minutes to gauge the action potential from the muscles and nerves. You got to put it in one of the muscles so that it'll actually respond to it. Students touch the fiber on the legs with another pen, send an impulse into it, and monitor on their iPads. And every time it jumps like that, that's just one of the currents when the signal is running through. But this is just step one. The class graduates to human application. The ladies over there are actually using it on their hands. They're testing action potential in the muscle and nerve cells that are used in your hands. Finally, the cockroaches fall under remote control. That's right. Students connect the cockroach's antennae with silver wire. Then they superglue this receiver on its back, then a battery pack. Sophomore Brandon Sperling is fully engaged. Once we put the backpack on, we can actually, uh, we can actually control what he's doing. We can send an electrical impulse from this controller right here. We can send an electrical impulse right or left. And there you see it. The students drive the cockroaches around in the test lab. And it's, it's simple controls, but mm -hmm. it's lots of fun. Uh, we can uh, uh, make a cockroach do what we want it to do. And these budding scientists haven't dismissed meaningful applications down the road say, in a collapsed building. Uh, because they're small uh, and they typically travel in uh, um, rubble, uh, or could travel in rubble, it'd be easy to put a little a, a miniaturized camera on the back of one, send it into a collapsed building, and determine what's happening. We're just trying to stimulate them to, uh, to go forward, uh, to, to have fun with science. And they have. I mean, it's been great. Coincidentally, this week is International Brain Awareness Week, and two of the students in the cyborg cockroach experiment told us they want to be neurosurgeons. I'm John Madewell, News Channel 9.